Okay, transformation question, grade C, uh, multiple transformations. So we've got a shape A is mapped on the shape B by reflection in one of the axes followed by rotation. So I'll just show you what happens when you do it in both. Now, um, if you reflect in the Y axis, which is X equals zero, then you'll have the shape that's been um, flipped over and the distance from any point to the y-axis is the same on the other side so you just turn it over you can use tracing paper to do this but you should be able to spot where it goes without much effort the only, the only thing you've got to be careful of is sometimes you're not counting it because of these numbers are in the way and causing an issue and then from there you are said you are told that um, it's followed by rotation now I've drawn this on here I've already got the center of rotation here but essentially what you do is you get a bit of tracing paper you um, put your point on parts of the tracing paper and just keep spinning it around until you find one that works and when you do find one that works it will fit nicely on top like this one does um, and with a bit of trial and error you can get to the center of rotation which is a very important part of the second part of the question um, the other one that you could have possibly is if you went in the the x-axis you reflected it into here make sure you counted two squares and then two and then spinning it you would have that rotation there around that point so let's just write that out so um, shape A is mapped on the shape B a reflection in you got to say which one you did so if you did the y-axis you'd have y-axis followed by a rotation so you're not getting a mark for saying rotation but you've got to say how much it is so this one is a um, 90 degree rotation so it's going from there to there 90 degrees about the, uh, clockwise about the point minus six zero so clockwise clockwise about uh, 90 degrees about minus six zero now on GCSE questions, rotations are pretty much always in multiples of 90. So 90, 180, 270 is not really an issue because it could go the other way. Anti-clockwise 270 would be the same as clockwise 90. So you'd really um, have the, sh the smaller of the two rotations. Now this one is same idea, 90 degrees, but this is going anti-clockwise about the point 0 minus 6. So we have, if we reflect it in the x-axis, we only need one of these pair. We go anti-clockwise about zero minus six. It's obviously important to get the, the coordinates the right way around. Three marks, one for each bit.